two. Step two, take the sail down. Okay. <laughs> so uh, just drop the sail onto the deck and get it out of the way. Okay. Um, the, the step two is the maximum hoist. So we want to figure out not how high you want the sail or how tall you think you may want the sail when you measure it. We want to know the maximum space in the mast itself. We'll make reductions to make sure that the sail is the proper fit. It's not too long, it's not too short. Yeah, okay. Um, all of those things. So you're going to hook on to the swivel that goes up the foil with a tape measure. And you want to make sure that we have an extra line attached to it. So you're not trying to pull the swivel a down a on the tape, line. On yeah, the yeah, tape okay. measure and then you lose it up top. What kind of tape should you have? Is there any, because I've seen like we have a fiberglass tape, yes. but you're looking for something that's you don't want to stretch too right. much. Yes. Well, Ideally, the stretch better, it yeah. shouldn't be blowing like 40 knots because the tape's going to be like yes. blowing out. Yeah, a nice wind condition is, is always key for that. But like if somebody were to go to <laughs> Home Depot or any sure. hardware store, yeah, just get yeah. one just of the big whoosh. hundred foot tape measures okay. and uh, measure twice. So sometimes you'll take the measurement, and if there's the wind blowing it out, you just yeah. wait till the gust slows down. And take it again and you know be confident on that okay so that gives you the height and you measure from full hoist of the halyard to where you can't go any further to the top of the gooseneck yes okay. so some furling masts have a attachment point for the tack of the sail to attach right yeah. right hard to it you're going to measure to that tack point on your boat you've got a lashing which is about two feet down yeah to the tack of the sail. So you're gonna to wanna to run the tape measure to the top of the boom in that situation. Gotcha. We have, we'll leave a little extra space for adjustments up and down, depending on how the boom's gonna sit when you install it, but measure right to the top of the boom. Cool. All right, so we've got, what did you call the first measurement? So it's basically the, ho the total hoist the, yes. of the sail from the top to where the halyard stops down to the top of the goose deck. This is just uh, the retrieval line. So I'm just gonna do a quick little bowl in so that we'll create a loop. And now we can pull this back down without using the tape measure to pull it, which could potentially break. So in this measurement, we're measuring the maximum hoist, not the rig specs, the actual maximum hoist until this stops at the top of the mast. <coughs> so we're going to run this up and then most boats have a tack hook or a shackle on their furling mainsail. Um, this one does not. So what we're going to do instead, because the foil goes all the way down to the bottom drum here and this is where, where it attaches. What Brian has is he has a tag line that runs up the side of the foil and starts the sail at the tack. So there is some flexibility and adjustment space in this area of the sail. But for this maximum measurement from the top, we're going to just go to the top of the boom and we're going to take that measurement. We are going to be making our own reductions when we design the sail for stretch and space that's needed for the webbing. So we're just going to go to the top of the mast and let's do this. Hoist her up. Hoisted the the tape measure. It doesn't go right to the top of the mast because of all the gear. So if you look up, there is some space up there. But we're gonna take it from the from where it stops right there. So what is that coming got, out as? Are we doing metric or uh, American today? It doesn't matter. 45. 45. On the dot. Now uh, let's get our meters here. 10 10 10 10.45 meters. Okay. So 11. 11.45.
Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's, That's the it. hardest one, man.